Hi everybody, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today we're going to talk about the new frame tool in Photoshop CC 2019. So this tool is really awesome. Um, it's a lot like a mix between what you're able to do in InDesign and what you can do in Photoshop with a layer mask. So I'll just show you a few different ways you can use this to adapt it to your workflow. So just to start out, we'll grab the frame tool right now and I'm gonna just draw a box with it. That's the only thing you can do with the frame tool is draw a box. Now there are other ways to get it to work with different types of shapes, and we'll go over that in a minute, but the frame tool itself, the one that's over here on the left is just for box shapes. So we've got our box here, and I've downloaded a few images and put them in my library. So I'm just going to drag one of these images right onto that frame and it's magically resized. Um, it maxes out the size. So you see the overhang we have here. When you see this view with the thinner lines like this, that means you can grab the content and move it around inside the frame. You can also hit command T and resize it if you want. Uh, rotate or whatever you need to do. I'm going to hit return to commit that. If I want to move the whole frame by itself, I just double click and now I'm able to move that frame. If I want to get inside again and move the content, you can double click again and now you can move the content around. I want to go over the properties panel. So when you create a frame, it gives you some options over here. It just gives you some of the properties of what's inside that frame. So the width, the height, um, you can edit contents, and if I click on this, I'm able to edit that photo. I don't need to do that. So now if I double click, I get the properties of the frame itself. So here I could add a stroke if I wanted to, the positioning of the stroke and some other things like that. So that's really handy. Now the second thing I want to show you is how to make a layer into a frame. So if we create a new layer here, I'm going to draw some swirly shapes on here. Now I can make this layer into a frame. So I'm going to control click. We'll choose frame from layers and we'll say, okay. And now we have the same situation as we do up here. I've got a frame that I can add a stroke to. I've got content. If I double click that I can move around within the frame, it's basically the same thing, except you didn't start out with the frame. Now there is a way to get some differently shaped frames. If we come down here to the shape tool, we can choose any of these shape items to create a frame. So I'm going to use the polygon tool and I'll just create a, a simple polygon. Then we go to our layers, control click or right click on your layer and convert to frame. Uh, you'll have to name it. I always just hit return and you can also pull in images from your desktop. So we'll do that for this one. Okay. So there's our frame polygon. Now, if we add a stroke around this, it adds it to the polygon, not this outer box. So the actual frame is the polygon and not the box. That's just showing you where the frame starts and stops. So you can use any of these shapes. You just have to remember to convert to frame. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to make any type of shape into a frame. And to do this, we'll go to illustrator and I'm going to grab a vector, just copy it. And then we'll paste in here. And now this is important. You have to paste this as a shape layer. Otherwise this won't work. So choose shape layer and say, okay. And we have it in here now. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by hitting command T and resizing. And now I'll come over here and do the same thing. Right click or control click and convert to frame. And now I'll grab this image from my library and we'll move it around a little bit in there. And that's how you can make a vector shape, just any shape you want into a frame. I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you like this video, please click on the like button and I'll see you next week for another graphic design tutorial. Thank you.